A longtime JCPS employee, from a social studies teacher at Shawnee to principal at Dawson J Town, Marty Polio becomes the next JCPS superintendent. In that rare Sunday meeting yesterday, the school board voted to make him full time, the top job, and he's joining us uh, right now live in our studio. And we said. Of all things on your first day, you have a snow day. Yeah, that was a, a big <laughs> surprise. I mean, I, we kind of uh, were surprised by the severity of it and were not expecting it, but uh, woke up this morning about 4 a.m. to already a lot of accidents on the roads. Yeah. So we knew that it was a, an issue right off Dicey. the bat. So you can dive right in. Uh, what change are you going to make right away that you haven't already been able to make at the, in, at the interim level as far as cutting the red tape and letting the principals flourish at their schools? Yeah, well, um, we're looking very um, hard right now at our organizational structure at central office um, and that's going to be an important thing as we move forward we've had a, a team come in from the council of great city schools and take a look at our organizational structure um, over the a couple weeks ago they're going to make some recommendations to us about how we compare to other urban districts our size um, and what changes we need to make to better support schools from central office because that has to be our goal at central office, if we're not supporting schools and teachers, then we're not being successful. So that's going to be a big uh, movement for us in the, in the coming months. I know you said, uh, you've said all along, you're an insider. This is personal to you. You have a daughter in the Correct. school system. Let's talk about contract. Haven't mm -hmm. signed one just yet. What are you looking as far as the terms of that? What is the typical contract for what number of years, and is that what you want? Yeah. Well, I think most uh, contracts you will see um, around the country and around the state are all four-year contracts for superintendent, as they were for Dr. Hargens. Um, and I'll be honest, Rachel, it has, it's been something that I have thought very little about um, because I've been doing the job um, and applying for the job at the same time, and it's kept me extremely busy. Um, so I can't ignore it, um, but I'm also not here for the contract or, or anything like that. So as, as we begin to talk about that here in the coming weeks, obviously I'll look at that, but more important to me is doing the job right now. That state audit is looming. Correct. Could come out any time possibility the state of Kentucky could take over JCPS. You would remain in position, but would that take the school board out of all decision making and you would work with a representative from the state to run JCPS if that were to happen? I don't know. Um, I can't say exactly what the state is going to do. I don't believe that will happen. And I, I, you don't? No, I don't believe that will happen. Um, I can't say what has happened. That's just my opinion at this time. Um, I hope this is my hope that we are able to work in collaboration with the Kentucky Department of Education and our school board to move forward. Um, we've made it very clear from our early audits and corrective action plans that we are ready uh, to roll up our sleeves and tackle any issues that the KDE has and we're going to correct them assertively with them and work together collaboratively with them. And so we hope that we are able to keep that collaborative sp spirit with the KDE as we move forward. And you wonder with your appointment by the board if that might play some role with Frankfurt looking and going, we have an insider, we have new leadership. It, it could uh, you know, do something with that as well. Let's talk about this group we keep hearing about, Scala. Mm -hmm. It's a private group looking all sorts with its uh, aim on JCPS, but nobody from the school system is part of it. Have they yeah. reached out to you or will you to them? They have reached out, um, but um, uh, very recently. Um, and I will say this, I mean, um, I, I don't know how that will move forward right now. I mean, we um, clearly want partnerships with business and community leaders across this city. I've said many times for our district and city to be successful, we all have to be in this together. It can't just be school system. Um, but clearly, we, we have to have representatives at the table talking about public education. You said and you're without that, we can't be successful. Bring in a committee to look at the central office. But Correct. You're an inside guy. You started as a teacher. Mm -hmm. You saw your, you had your frustrations as a principal with the central office. What's your gut telling you that you could blow up right away to make things move and faster and start this turnaround? You want. What, well, what there, do you want to do? What does Marty Pollard want to do? Uh, there are uh, several things that I think of. I could I could be on this show for the next hour talking about a lot of <laughs> the changes. Cancel we're everything. Going to make. He's on. Yeah, that's right. But um, you know, th there are, are significant changes that need to take place in structure that I've seen, but they just can't be my decisions. That's why we brought in an outside team to compare it uh, to other organizations our size across the country that that have tended to be successful. One of the things I want um, right now, our principals with their uh, assistant superintendents. Each of our assistant superintendents has approximately 27 schools to provide support and oversight for. 
and clearly that's too many right. to really know what's happening in a school and provide that support. And we have some great assistant superintendents who are working very hard every day. 27 schools is a lot to provide oversight and support for. Um, so one of the recommendations I think we're going to see is to reduce that number or to provide additional supports. So principals can be, uh, there is that support to help them and make sure they're successful. Um, and I think that needs to happen. So that's just one of many. Um, but that's an example of some of the things we're going to dig into and look at. But most importantly, compare it to other cities our size that have school districts that are, are let, working. Let right the principal now. be the CEO of their school. Correct. Only have about 30 seconds left. A lot of people have dumped on JCPS lately. I mean, we've had the governor being very critical. When you went in with the interim, you said laser focus, increase morale and mm -hmm. culture. Have mm -hmm. you done that, and how far do you think you still have to go? Uh, well, any leader of an organization or any good leader focuses on culture. Whether it's athletics, whether it's a business, whether it's a school or a district, they focus on culture. That is not going to stop. That will continue year after year. But what I have been inspired by is the, the new hope and passion that people inside our organization have around JCPS. I feel very fortunate that they've uh, supported me in this. Um, but that morale is so important to the success of a school district um, and a positive feel in a school, and you can feel it when you walk in a school, a school that has a positive culture. So we have to continue to develop that. That won't stop. I could be sitting here two years from now, and I would tell you we still a need constant. to work on mm -hmm. that, and it's a constant work on improving that in our schools. Well, well thank, thank you. you. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank and you, you did much. hear from Dr. Hargan's wishing you well. I wanted yep. to make sure, sure we said did. that as well.